so one of my favorite things about going to a new country is actually trying out the convenience store food and that's one of your favorite things it's actually it's one of my favorite things because it's so unique in every different country you get these little <laughs> snacks that you never would ever find in a normal setting 7-elevens here in japan doesn't get any better than this you're gonna get basically one of everything that they have and uh do a little taste test this is how we're eating lunch today 7-eleven <laughs> great maddie perfect <laughs> awesome we got one basket might need more one of these oh, that no. looks good too Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, no. That's what, that's all the same type. It's okay. all the same thing. This is different. This oh, is look at look at the little monkey man. I want to go get ramen. Eight shots. Nine shots. <laughs> I, I, we actually don't have the time to eat all these things. It's just like there's not enough time in the day. We're more limited Milk by seafood. time than money. Is this a joke? How many items was it? Like 87 items? 82 items? 82 items. We have like 30 minutes before we have to be somewhere. All right, where do we begin? I guess we should start with the fresh foods while they're still fresh, yeah? Yes, yeah. we should definitely start with the fresh foods. Okay. All right. Chicken, oh wait, spring roll. Spring roll, number one. All right, so uh, we are gonna be doing rankings of all these items from of seven. Yes, from 7 to 11. That's the ranking system. 7 being the worst, 11 being the best. This is a five point rating system. That's cute, Maddie. That's cute. Starting with spring rolls. Let's okay. see how this is. All right. I'm probably just going to take like one bite of each of these things, and anything that is left over will just go straight to this hostel. All right, it's a spring roll. It is a spring roll. That's what you. This is what's going to happen for every item. We're going to be like, oh, yep, yeah, it's cup of noodles, mm -hmm. because it's cup of noodles. Oh, it's juice. Cause it's juice. But one, there'll be at least a couple of these that'll be like, wow, that's like the best thing of that I've ever had. Not the best spring roll I've ever had, just fine. I'm giving this an eight on the seven to 11 scale. Based on what I imagine the rest of these things are gonna taste like, this is an 11. Oh. Yeah, this is probably gonna be a, a, one of the best things that we you're have. You're starting the bar high. You're saying, this is the best. This is as good as it gets. This we is have, as good as it gets. We have 82 items. We're one of 82 right now, and you're like, I know it. This is the best. And I'm probably quitting after about five, so. <laughs> Getting a little thirsty. Let's try some mystery juice. It's all in Japanese. And not only that, it's like, I can't even tell from the picture. It looks like half water, half milk. Is it, is it like a rice between. milk? It's, it's just, just milk. milk. You like milk, right? It's milk, mate. But it's 7-Eleven milk. Oh, I can't I wait to try it. It's Japanese 7-Eleven milk. I don't think you understand. Wait, Clearly. Kind of, this is new technology. Look, wow. this is not just okay. milk. All right, This now is we're not talking. just milk, my friends. This is new technology that we are discovering. The straw came like this, and I'm mm. like, oh, this is, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen because it's like, you can't even put it down the whole way. No, wow. no. That's something special. Oh. It's really amazing. The Japanese are just two steps ahead of us, That's and it's true. It's something else. I gotta give it to them. All right, oishi milk. It's oishi if I've ever tasted oishi. It's milk. It's it's a seven. It's milk is one of the best foods of all time. Best anything of all time. I'm giving it it's an like eleven. Cold milk. It's a eleven. Seven. It's disgusting. Eleven on the seven to eleven I scale. I don't even like milk. More Japanese technology. Watch this chat. Pull, pull, pull. So we move all the edamame, edamame to one side. This is probably the worst edamame that we will have in Japan. Give it an eight. Give it an eight. I'll give it an eight too. All right. Sushi. All right. All right. I'm, I have high hopes for the sushi. Okay. What is this? The natto. No. 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 I don't know. No. 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 I will not eat natto. Natto is the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my entire life. If it's natto, I'm out. It's not natto. Don't worry. Natto is seriously 
outrageously disgusting. <laughs> Just try a bite. There are two things in my life that I do not ever want to eat again. One is natto and one is stinky tofu, which I had in Taiwan. It doesn't smell great, I'll be honest with you, but I'll bite the bullet, I'll bite the natto. Cheers. I probably shouldn't eat the whole thing. I'll put that to the side <laughs> and never see that one again. That's a zero. That's right? a zero on the seven That's to eleven. Zero. Scale. I'll be right back. I don't even need to try it to know that that is a zero. Brando does not believe it's too bad. Ew. Oh, that smells bad. <laughs> You're lucky that it has it's, the rice. It's like when bin juice sort of ferments and gets that sour curdled smell yes. about it. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> that's what it is. All right, cheers, brother. It's truly terrible, <laughs> right? There's a negative zero. <laughs> He's going to the same trash can I went to. I'm not even going to save this for the people Did you here. spit it out? <laughs> I spit it out. <laughs> This is what I was actually told to come to Japan and eat, regardless mm -hmm. of how much money you have, to go to this a 7-Eleven right and get an onigiri, is that what it's called? Um, and it's basically like a little uh, sushi sandwich. There's and a whole technique to open up the package. There were instructions. Adam, like and an American caveman over here, just started Who ripping it open. Oh, I've messed this up. You've messed really up the badly. whole Good job, Adam. You ruined my whole day. Oh. Get in there, buddy. Give me a bite of this. 9.5 out of 11. I'll give it a 10. Next up, we got some egg salad sandwiches. Woo -woo. You know that a lot of love and care because they cut off the crust just like mom did. And you gotta appreciate that. Feel how soft the bread is. It's a, it's like a caressing just a little. Eat it. Just eat it. A little soft bread. Take a bite, Maddie. That's a big, that's a big old juicy bite. Oh yeah. No, oh, come on. It's not that good. It's good. It's pretty good. Is that not the best egg salad sandwich you've ever had? Is it not? It's actually Is pretty good. Is it not? 7-Eleven surprised you even when you don't think it will. Nine and a half. 11 out of 11. We're doing a bit of a lightning round here. We got a couple of different more rice balls over here. Let's try these out. It's all right. It's a nine. Salmon is good. I'm also going to give it a nine. I got some cafe latte. All right, and I'm going to go for a... A, a smoothie, a green smoothie. I like green juice, so that's the only reason it gets an, an eight. Seven for the latte for me. Didn't love it. Ooh, minimated banana. A special jelly drink designed to supply carbohydrates equivalent to one rice ball. This is basically if you don't like eating, but you need to. I'm drinking banana jello. Think of that sentence again. I'm drinking banana jello. <laughs> Dude, a zero is reserved for natto, so that gets a one. That is bad. That is bad. That's not great. Maddie, we have to, we, we're going to a show. We're going to a robot show today. Apparently we're doing some robot stuff. It's not gonna be as exciting as the 7-Eleven. But we already bought tickets. We got VIP tickets. All right, we're let's going. finish it off. Part one of this video, Lady in the Tramp style. Come on, Adam. What is that? Eat this with me. What? Eat this bun with me. What is that? Oh, God. <laughs> it's a, it's cream. I, it's delicious. Yeah, it gets an eight for taste, a, a seven for the overall experience. This is a 10 on taste. No, it's 11 not. for the overall experience. <laughs> sharing this, <laughs> sharing it with my buddy in Tokyo. <laughs> There's a very good chance, Maddie, that <laughs> When you try to do part two of this video, you you are going to be alone. Have fun, buddy. I'm Thank going you. to a nice dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a nice teppanyaki dinner, and I hope that you have a great dinner here. Thank back you very at the much. Hostel on your own, mm -hmm. filming Thank this you. video. All right. Approximately ten hours later. All right, welcome back to the 7-Eleven taste test video. I had Adam with me in the last part, but uh, he got a little bit full. Maybe he'll join me later on. But we are back in here. You know the rules. It's a 7-Eleven uh, taste test with the rating scale being from seven to 11, with seven being the worst, 11 being the best. Let's try out some more stuff. 
All right, so let's start off part two with some chestnut dorayaki. Not a damn clue what dorayaki means, but it looks like some sort of coffee flavored pancake. I don't know. Oh, ho, ho. Mm. Mm. 9.5 out of 11. Let's try out some fish roe and butter rice crackers. People here are on a different level for sure. And I'm just smelling these. That is a pungent flavor. Wow. Wow. They're not bad. They're just weird. Fine, not great. Eight out of 11. Let's try these out. Not even one word of English on these. So I have literally no clue what I'm getting myself into. It smells like nothing. Very crunchy. Don't hate it, don't love it. Another eight out of 11. All right, let's head over to some chocolate. I haven't had any chocolate so far. You just got a bunch of random chocolates in there. Just a bunch of random chocolates in there. We'll edit out the last take, don't you worry. It almost tastes a bit orange flavored. Which I don't love orange chocolate. It was good, and then it wasn't, and then it's like back to being good. Nine out of 11. Let's stay on the chocolate train and go over to these. These don't have a name, so I have no clue what they are. I like these more than the last chocolates. 9.5 out of 11. Take us on an adventure, Adam. Tell me where we're going next. I'll just grab some. Oh no. The classic, the classic unknown Japanese cookies. It's like a teriyaki rice cookie. I'll give it a nine. Eight out of 11 for me. Don't love it. It's not bad. Here we go, something I'm really excited about. Pizza flavored chips. I heard these are really good. Okay. We're gonna try them out. Have you ever had I'm trying pizza? to keep a more open mind. Because I feel like yesterday I was a little bit negative. Mm -hmm. I said I wouldn't even come back. Right, and now I here you are. Back, and now I'm about to have pizza Ooh. flavored chips. All right, so look at this. They actually have the cheddar on the chip. These are good. These no, are good. Not. For sure they are good. For sure they are not good. Anytime we have a disagreement on a food, Brando is the tiebreaker. Brando, let us know. Break the tie. I say it's good. Adam says it's bad. It is bad. It's mostly not good. Mostly ah. not good. That means bad. Adam wins. These have a hippo on them. These might be chocolates again. Oh, these are chocolates? They might be. Oh. They might be. I don't know. Let's There's play. like animal crackers, it looks Maybe like. Not. Like literally. <laughs> and this is nice. They're animal crackers of sorts, but they even say the name. So you can see it says camel. I got Deer. a little camel. I'll give it an eight. I don't know. They're just fine. Although, you know, I'm going to bump it up to a nine because they have such unique animals. Tiger, deer, camels. You never get these on animal crackers in America. Oops, banana chips and chocolate. Ooh. Banana chips and chocolate. Okay, I love I'm banana. For this. I love chocolate. This actually looks great. It's a banana chip covered in chocolate. It's literally what it says it is. And it's good. 10. Yeah, 11. I love it. All right, let's break up the chocolate a little bit. Head on to some fire looking Doritos. I was hoping that you hadn't tried these already. I wanted mm -hmm. to try these. Are you a big fan of like the fiery Cheetos from yeah. the US? Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping that these will be similar. It well, has a little, little angry looking pepper on the front, so I'm guessing these are gonna be spicy. Okay. We did just come from India where spicy, yeah, we spicy can't get India is probably a lot different than spicy Japan, but for we'll try sure. these out. 10 out of 11 for me. 10? Yeah. <laughs> It's all I, I would eat these. Let's go with some rice crackers with peanuts. There's a very slight hint of peanuts. They, I mean, like a lot of these rice cracker snacks have just tasted like rice crackers. Yeah. With like a 5% hint of whatever they're supposed to be. This which is, is, this is fine, it's an eight. Yeah, it's like just an eight. It's just kind of a nothing. Caramel popcorn. Hell yeah. Okay. That's all, that's okay. got my name written all over it. Okay. How does it open? Okay. Okay, I have to say though, what I like about popcorn is that you can eat an unlimited amount of it. Mm. This, it's so rich that it defeats that. Well, there's too much chocolate. To be fair, they come in small bags. Right. So they're not suggesting to you that you could be mm. eating infinite amounts of this stuff. I hear you, but still, yeah. 
It's just gonna be a nine for that reason for me. I Ten want out of my 11. popcorn to be. I want to eat a ton of it. Ten out of eleven for me. Oh, and it has zero. Zero something. Everything. It's just zero. Is it zero sugar? Zero calories? Zero trans Zero fat. taste? Yeah. Zero. Zero gluten? This could be zero anything. We don't know. Eddie, how do you. How do you. All right. How do you get the, this is embarrassing. Come on. You've embarrassed me. It's not. Come on. Just get. God damn it. Eddie. It's, it's, it's broken. I got it. Everybody relax. Is it green tea? Could be green tea. It's milk. It's just milk. It's definitely not just milk. It's like green flavored milk. Seven out of 11 for me. Yeah, seven. Let's throw this out of here. Never. Mango gummies in the house. Let's go. I'm on a roller coaster. I'm loving these and then hating them and then loving I know, them again. Right? And I'm not sure where I'm gonna land on this roller coaster. Am I gonna be stuck stuck at the top when it's just part gonna of be me delicious? Really, really, really likes it, and part of me also does not. Or is the roller coaster gonna crash? Lands on a ten for me. All right, so we are on to the last section of our taste test, the noodle section. Yes. We got five different types of noodles here from 7-Eleven. We're gonna go add some hot water to these and see how they turn out. And we're back with some nice, juicy, hot ramen. Yay. Let's get into this. Which one do you want to start off with? None. We got some milk. We got some curry. We got some Japanese ramen. And let's start Let's off. go with the Japanese ramen. There's Dan Dan noodles. You know what Dan Dan is? Well, I know that I am not a Dan Dan. That's all I know. You are a Dan Dan. I'm not a Dan Dan. You are. Noodle cheers. Do we really have to do this at the same time? Cheers. Like, can't you just take a bite nope. and then... But the flavor is actually pretty good on yeah, these things. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe nine and a half. Mm-hmm. Tim, I love these. I don't know what this, oh wow, that's really spicy. <laughs> Is it? Oh, you put the whole spice packet in, didn't you? Yeah, I put the whole spice packet in. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. That's really delicious though. It's good. If you were that's sick, a 10. like on a nice cold day, if you yeah. were sick. Clear out the sinuses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another 10 for me too. All right, so so far the 7-Eleven ramen, Not doing bad. pretty good. Let's see if they that can keep it good. up. I like that. So here is the the milk seafood. Oh, Jesus. It even looks milky. Like, um, Oh, it smells like cream. I actually really love it. Yeah, it's just like a creamy, it's like a pasta. Yeah. More than a raw mouth. 10 for me. 10. 10's uh, across the board so far. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give that one an eight and a half. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Is it? Yes. <laughs> it's definitely the moment that I've been waiting for. You're saying because it's the last one and then we get to be done, right? right? Is that what you mean? It's obviously a bit disappointing that our taste test is coming to an end. Uh, We've had so many fabulous foods. Right. 7-Eleven has been so good to us. <laughs> this is number 82 out of 82. It is the Mamiana. Mamiana noodles. What's the smell? What's the smell factor on these? Terrible. They do not smell great, I'll be no, honest. No, they smell bad. Noodle dink, Noodle why do we dink. have to cheers, cheers. everything? Mm. That's how Rhett and Link do it. You gotta do it the same. It's not good. It's not good. It's a seven, it's not good. It's a 7.5 if I'm being honest with you. That's the perfect way to end this because <laughs> it, is, it is garbage, just like the vast majority of everything mm. that we had here. I'll be honest. I have been a little underwhelmed by the 7-Eleven. Now, we didn't go to a good one, though, I feel like. Oh, we didn't go to the right 7-Eleven. Right, so we will try this out again Never at another time. Again. At Ever. a better 7-Eleven. Again. Ever. We'll go and we'll Never. buy maybe 150 no, items. No, we won't. 170. Nope. We'll see. So the moral of the story is if you have $25 a day mm -hmm. in Tokyo, Japan, go to 7-Eleven and get yeah. yourself fed. And if you have $500 in Tokyo, Japan, Go don't. to a better 7-Eleven no. and then buy don't. stuff. Don't go to the don't Just go to the worst 7-Eleven. <laughs> well, that'll do it for this video. Again, if you do want to see our main video, it's up on our YouTube channel. Uh, link is up there or down below or somewhere. We did ten epic things in the city of mm -hmm. Japan. Unfortunately, this was one of them. <laughs> so nine. And we'll see you on the flip side.